All right, guys, welcome back and welcome to the beginning of a brand new series of a brand new game here on the channel. I've been waiting for this one for quite some time, and I'm really excited that it's finally here. Welcome to Fort Solace. I'm going to be completely honest. I just finished playing this game. We just did the entire chapter one walkthrough, which, by the way, it's the only chapter I'm able to share at the moment. And I did my intro and everything, but I wanted to come back on here and redo the intro because I really like what I just played. And I think if you're like me and you like single player games, you like narrative thriller stories, this game's got, I think you guys will enjoy this one. Okay. By the way, the voice acting is phenomenal. You've got three main characters, primarily one main character, Roger Clark, which of course we know who that is. Red Dead Redemption 2, Arthur Morgan, you know, you've got uh, Troy Baker from The Last of Us and The Last of Us Part 2. And then, of course, you've got Julia Brown from World on Fire. I mean, these three, the voice acting is really, really good. And by the way, the game looks so good. It's actually using Unreal Engine 5.2 and motion cap or mocap uh, to actually capture these scenes and make it as immersive as possible. It's a really, really nice looking game. And I think a lot of you will enjoy it. Uh, for those of you that are interested in the game, the release date is going to be, in fact, August of 2023, August 22nd. It's going to be available for PC, Mac, and PlayStation 5. A big thank you to the dev team Fallen Leaf for the early access code. I hope you enjoy it. Please let me know down below your thoughts and opinions. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Courage is not the lack of fear. It is acting in spite of it. So, you hated it? Uh, I wouldn't say hate, I just... I wish he had done more. How could he possibly have done more? They were surrounded by zombies. Uh, regardless, I'm caught up now. So it's time for a new show. I believe it's your book. Mm, I'm taking my time with this one. Yeah, just like that hole. It's looking a lot better since I got up here. Is that before or after you spent a week fixing it? These weather patterns are getting worse. Most of our jobs now are repairing weather damage. Yeah, I really hadn't noticed. Then again, being stuck with you for cycle rotation is just as exciting. You could be worse. You could be stuck with some... Okay, so here we go. Press triangle to enable the multi-tool. Jack, you cut off them. What were you saying? Alert received. Urgent response requested. Fort Solace. Status manual alerts initiated. Clearance unknown. So this is the stress call that uh, starts everything. The alarm at Solace is triggered. Solace? That relic? Manually initiated? I've never seen a manual one. No. Oh, to think you wanted to spend your last shift watching me do all the heavy lifting. <laughs> Just... I am on vacation the minute tomorrow's shuttle arrives. I'll contact them, see if it's a false alarm. Well, how do you expect them to reply without power? If they respond, then it's a false alarm. OMG, you're so smart. You see, this is why I should pick the shows from now on. Is this about the zombies? I wouldn't possibly have any idea what you mean. I knew it! Fort Solace. This is Jack Leary, senior engineer, responding to your alarm. Please come in. Jack Leary responding to Fort Solace alarm. You have everything okay over there? Anything? No. Weird. To trigger the alarm and not respond. Hmm. It's a stone's throw from here. Why don't you check it out? People who use that expression don't normally apply that logic to Mars. <laughs> that vacation can't come soon enough. So we're finally playing. This is awesome. It feels kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie, to see, uh... Roger Clark as somebody else that's not Arthur Morgan, but I'm good for him, man. I mean, the guy is so talented. He deserves everything that's coming. He's an incredible, incredible voice actor. An actor for that matter. I mean, at this point, this is acting. Press X to interact with the world objects and gain more context. Here we go.
Ooh. Uh, I'm heading down now. We can take the LTV. I need to repair this hull before the storm gets worse. I think we have an hour or so before it hits. Okay. I can pick you up on the way back. So yeah, the game looks amazing, dude. The Unreal Engine 5.2, it, uh, I mean, you can really... This is beautiful. Alright, well, I'll see you later. Bye. Don't die, please. Locate the LTV. Oh my gosh. I switched comms frequency, Jess. No problem. I'll finish up here, and then if you're not back in time, I can take the HTV. Roger that. Jack out. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you this isn't the military? Okay, it's fine. Roger that. Don't get lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, are we really gonna... Wow. So I just want to walk here for a bit, just so you guys can kind of see... I mean, this looks incredible. Look at this pile of, uh, dirt, sand, whatever it is. And it's funny because he has the same walk as Arthur Morgan. Because <laughs> all of this was probably captured in mocap, so obviously, you know. That's awesome. Alright, let's go. Let's get to work. Responding to a distress call. Pretty cool. Set course for Fort Solace. Calculating. Jack Leary, senior engineer on route to Fort Solace. The Planum Quadrant responding to an alarm. Suspected power failure. I'll wait for further information. Recording submitted. Okay, I'm heading to Solace. Keep an eye on that storm. I doubt it'll pass me by unnoticed. Man, this looks awesome. So this game takes place in Mars, in case we have not noticed that yet. Um, and I'm super pumped because obviously the unknown is always so interesting, right? So whenever you get a game that kind of explores all of this, um, it just becomes, to me personally, it becomes very interesting. This is crazy. So I don't know one thing that, that I was uh, I was wondering. I don't know if all the chapters are going to be available at the start, or or maybe they are. I guess we'll see once this this video is done. We'll see if the game literally ends or like a new chapter begins. I'm not sure, but I think it would be cool if they were to you know if they were to like release a chapter every I don't know every two three weeks or every couple of months. But again, I don't know the format of the game. I don't know if it's like episodic or or it's just a continuation and then the chapters just kind of seamlessly go from one to the other. Which, to me, it doesn't really matter. I, I do enjoy the chapter things and being released and the hype around it, but if I have everything all at once, I'm probably just going to play it all at once. So that's okay. What's funny is that recently... It was said that Mars is officially not habitable. Like, we can't live there. So... Port Solace. So this would technically be fictional, right? I mean... I would get into uh, some pretty crazy conspiracy theories, but I don't want to... I don't want to fry your brain, and I don't want to start any uh, any crazy shenanigans in the comments below. Alright, so let's just keep that out of the way, and let's just enjoy the game for what it is. I'm, I'm really optimistic, as I mentioned. I'm really excited for this. Jack Leary here, entering your perimeter. Do you copy? Solace is locked down. 
Well, there goes your power theory. Why would it be in lockdown? System damage? Dare I suggest more weather damage? Yeah, maybe, but <laughs> lockdown seems extreme. Is there no sign of security? No, they must be done for the night. Storm's picking up here. How about over there? Full swing here, so I've hopped in the HTV to keep you company. Lovely. It was that or nap the storm out. <laughs> I'm flattered. And I can't nap with that noise, so you're lucky. Chairman, listen, I'm gonna head to the atrium. Make contact there. Okay. Wow. We've got a little headlamp there. Welcome to the unknown. Oh my god, this is dope. So clearly, we're probably gonna have to go over there. I just wanna check. Access denied. Lockdown in full effect. I'll head to the atrium and make contact there. Okay. Should I go upstairs? I feel like upstairs is also gonna be locked, but kinda wanna rule that out as well. I still don't know if we have like a sprint button. It seems like we don't, unfortunately. Uh, maybe later down the line in the story, we'll be able to get that. Maybe not even a sprint, like a little jogging button. Denied. Lockdown in full effect. Yeah. I don't know what's going on here, but I don't like this, man. This smells like trouble. It looks like trouble. What is this? Location data not found. Oh, hold on. Hold on, excuse me. Messages? Audio. Oh. Hold on. Four messages. September, October. Let's go down here. What does it say? Subject vending machine support. I don't want to alarm anyone here, but someone seems to have fixed the minor vending machines and undone our hustle. I'll investigate. Benedict Frampton, lead engineer. Okay, suspension. LTV uh, suspension. Very funny. I almost put my back out. I don't know what that means. Uh, subject annual leave. Hi, Jack. I hope this finds you well. Your annual leave beginning 1210. Has been approved. Tara wishes you a relaxing and recharging break. Thanks. Catherine Watkins, HR manager. Huh. So, Jack Leary is about to go on, on leave, right? And it's funny because it says annual leave. So, that's, that's, that's quite a while. Obviously, some shit's going to happen before he goes on vacation, clearly. I may be running late, but I can assure you it's not because I lost track of time decorating my helmet. Call signs matter. I had a thought about one for you. Ready? A bear. It matches your mood. See you down there in five. Okay, that's another one from her. I think this one came first, but whatever. I know you said this isn't the format for it, but you never answer your phone. I'm in the canteen. I already know the answer to this, but do you want me to bring a beer up to the wreck? I'm grabbing a snack. Let me know. Maybe even record a log back. Wouldn't that be fun? Oh, God. All right. I like this so far, dude. All right. Shit. Let's go. Good old Jack Leary. Seems to be good with the ladies. What the heck do I do now? Man, look how gnarly this freaking thing looks. Alright, we probably have to interact with that. There's some sort of ladder and a, and a rope there. But I just wanted to... just wanted to kind of pose here for a sec. This looks... Man, let's go. I like this. So far, so good. We'll see where it goes. Looks like I'm climbing for now. Climbing? Well, the lift's out and the storm's on its way. Roger. Over and out. Oh, who's a cool kid? Seriously, they'll make sure you're wired in. 
Weather is in full swing here. No idea why I even tried to repair the hull. <coughs> we got some uh, QTEs. Interesting. Okay. Let's go. Jack Leary. Rock climbing or whatever. <laughs> it's, not, it's not really rock climbing. What? The? Uh Alright, let's 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 keep our composure here, Jack. Storm hit you yet? How you getting on? It's been a while since I was out in a storm. It still hurts. Well the resistance suits my ass. I'll take that as a hard one. Whoa, whoa. Ooh, okay, this I like that. Really is a relic. I like the QTEs, man. Hopefully we have more of those. Oh, you got to be kidding. What? You wouldn't believe me if I told you. R1 and what are we doing? What the hell? Oh, he's going, he's going sideways. Oh, he's crazy. Here we go. Come on. There we go. All right, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> More like climbing. I don't know. This game's hinting at the fact that uh, Jack might might be a an alcoholic. Maybe likes a couple of beers from time to time. <sighs> Next time, I'm just cutting the door. You had your tools and chose to climb. Yes, been a long day. No problem with having a beer, of course. I'm just talking out of my ass, to be honest. Ooh. Chapter one. I'll head over to the atrium, see if anyone's home. Nothing on local cops? No. So paint the picture for me? What of Salas? Ooh. It's old school. Still got single structures. You should feel right at home then. <laughs> it certainly doesn't look welcoming. I'm saying nothing. I feel like we'll be able to walk here eventually. I don't know if I should be exploring out of my, uh... I need to check the atrium. Okay, the game's not gonna let us. There's definitely a couple of areas we can probably try and go to, but... I don't know if the game's gonna allow us just yet. So, I'm gonna try here. Yep, atrium. This is it. Here we go. Lockdown in effect. Strange. The lock overrides are still on. It's not strange. It's protocol when a lockdown is triggered. Oh, we just opened it. Hello? <laughs> is there anybody in there? Oxygen reserves are still active. Well, the backup generator maintains oxygen levels. Did you think they just powered the lights? Uh, Air well, not anymore. <laughs> Wow. Welcome to Fort Solace. Wow, man. This look at the lighting. Fucking awesome. Is there anything in these lockers? Here we go. just went local please tell me you didn't remove your helmet oh, you know I don't like to wear it all the time I can't believe you actually removed it on site oxygen levels are stable it's not natural <laughs> to wear it that long are we gonna pretend you're wearing yours that's I awesome knew it. dude I'm not the one responding to a lockdown alert I'll be fine 
The backup generators power more than just the lights, you know. At least it's sinking in. What happens if we grab Standard the issue. It's not as comfy as it looks. I've always liked mine. Well, I'm not drawing a dog on mine. Uh, it's a frog? Oh. So obviously, as you can see, there is a lot that you can pick up and interact with and just get some different dialogue going, which is pretty cool. Location point. Locator point, I'm sorry. Okay, so this is the stairwell elevator. Door locked. And of course it's locked, because why would it be opened? You know? All right, this one is open. The office. Let's go here. What is this? Cold beverages. Is that a beer? Get out of here. <laughs> oh, shit. Can we drink the whole thing? I think we can. Let's see. See what happens after a couple of chugs. Yeah, fuck it. Tell you what, I'll join you. Uh, drinking <sighs> on the job? Nothing wrong with staying hydrated out here. We both know that wasn't water. <laughs> You're not the one walking around in the dark. I wasn't drinking beer, by the way. Okay, I'm not drinking on the job. I'm drinking coffee. If you were wondering. Black coffee. Which I'm actually trying to get used to, by the way. I drink a whole lot of Cuban coffee with a lot of sugar, and I'm trying to let go of the sugar. No power. Well, that's not ideal. All right, so we need some sort of fuse. Um, this door seems to be locked as well. I'm going to try and interact with it anyways. Door locked. Door locked, as I figured. That's a beautiful tree. All right, let's go upstairs. Seems like it's like the only place right now to go. Yeah, the only thing right now that, that I can honestly, like, if I were to, like, nitpick, is there is no, like, jogging. It, it's everything is walking. Which, some may say it's a walking simulator, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, if the story's good, bro. The graphics are already checked out. If the story's good. Hell of a storm on the way. Okay, let's close it just in case. Ooh. Oh, Starwalk's in full swing here, too. They are amazing. People back home just can't imagine it. A star is a star. What's the big deal? This is why I go with Karen. <laughs> Alright, what do we have here? Oh, that looks like some sort of fuse. Oh, would you look at that? Is that directed at me? They still use I-5 nodes here. Really? Yeah, I'm looking at one now. Fully charged. I'm hold on to it. It's fully charged as well. That's good. Look at his face, dude. Like, you could tell it's him. In a way, right? That's fucking cool, dude. That must be so cool, like, I don't know, to be in a game. And not just to be in a game, but to be in a main, uh, well, the main character in a game. Spooky. Why? The place is lifeless. Are you sure you're at the right place? I mean, I think so. Maybe best to grab the schematics. Just to confirm, I can access the site files from here. Good idea. So download the Fort Solace schematics. Hold on. Fort Solace 2053. Even this tree makes me feel old. 2053? Wow. It's almost as old as me. Hard to think we've been up here that long. Wow. 2053. What in the world? All right, so here we go. This wasn't here before. I'm almost positive. Port Solace, map data. Ooh. Transfer data. 
Also, we're gonna transfer the map. Ooh. Very cool. Okay, good. And then switch maps. I don't think we have. Oh. Shit, there's multiple levels. Oh my god. And we are in this one. Okay. Alright, no problem. Press R1 to view your current map location at any time. Alright, so we need to. Yeah, we gotta go into the offices and conference room. And then we need to put this battery or whatever that was here. It worked. <laughs> what did? The I-5. No, be careful handling those. They were replaced for a reason. Okay, so let me take a look at the map. I don't want to get lost here, so I'm going to start at one end. Go to the left, okay. And then we'll go the other way. Building a brighter future. Restroom. Oh, that's kind of nasty. Okay. Oh, what's up with that music? I don't like that. I'm gonna need to calm down with that nonsense. Floor. What is it saying? Floor. Floor ad. What do we have here? Hmm. That's kind of cute. Looks like The Last of Us. In a way, right? Except I don't think that's a giraffe. Is that a giraffe? That's... Attack the day, just like the camel did. Oh, okay, so it is a camel. Yeah, it would be rude not to. Oh, shit. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, my boo. Happy birthday to you. Oh, how cute. Try hard. This is why you're divorced. I'm sure Patricia wouldn't list that as the only reason. Interesting. Okay, so we keep all of the uh, X Ortega, Xavier Ortega. So what does this do? If we go here to this little gadget, Jack Leary. Oh, okay, never mind. Anyways, keep going. What else we got here? I haven't seen one of these in years. What the heck? That's hilarious. There's so many little things to interact with. I like that. It's pretty cool. All right, Xavier. I'll catch you later. Hopefully you're not dead or turned into some sort of monster. Mining site development. What is this? Same tactic as me. Can't miss birthdays. Really? You literally said, don't get me anything. <laughs> that sounds nothing like me. Okay. 0807 mom's birthday. Call home. It's worth a try. Oh, okay. Uh, 0807. Bingo. All right. Managed well, to find the key card? That was easy. And I thought I was old. You are old. No one has said bingo since 2030. All right. Hold on. We got a couple of things here. A. Hopkins. To everyone uh, based on Fort Solace, please call... Uh, please, can all staff take extra care during storm season when on the surface of Mars? Storms are more frequent and can cause serious accidents. Please follow the appropriate safety measures when suiting up. Thanks. Terra Care. As we approach storm seasons, all employees are reminded that are uh, reminded of our ongoing 15% reduction in healthcare plans for a limited time. Please contact your resident uh, medical officer for more information. C. Smith. This is Anna. This is in the year 2080, by the way. So this is like... I'll probably be dead by then, to be honest. <laughs> um, you won't believe what happened last night. We need to have a coffee break. Uh, canteen in 10? No eye rolling. Remember, we have glass doors. Blair Smith, HR manager. Fort Solace. All residents are to remain mindful of the power issues throughout the base. Please adhere to our safety protocols in place. 
Once again, power is limited and there is uh, to support, and it is there to support our primary systems. Oscar Richardson, security officer. No message available, system, no accessible systems found, so servers currently offline, facility, operating on backup power, restart generators to restore full power facility. What is this? Use computer terminals to unlock doors. Atrium. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. That'll help me access the lower levels. Well, that was easy. T terminal content is automatically uploaded to the multi-tool. That was pretty easy. Alright, so we got it. The door's been unlocked. We came, we saw, we conquered. Let's keep going. Operations manager. What do we have here? No way, are you kidding me? How do people solve this? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> wow. You can solve the whole queue? I've always been terrible at these. I'm not even gonna try, but I just, just wanted to show you guys that yes, you can solve it, apparently. That's pretty cool, dude. You probably get a really nice uh, achievement for for solving that here in game. It's so creepy when everyone's off. We spend most of our time alone fixing sites in space. Never alone with a phone. That's gratitude for you. You could do a lot worse. Look at that little guy go. How's the search going? Uh, it's ongoing. Yeah, sounds it. Find purpose. Trying <clears throat> to see in the screen back there. What the hell is that? Like some sort of advertisement for tarot. All right, I think we're done here. I think we've researched and interacted with everything we could. I'm going to head down to the B levels and check that. Okay. All right, so that door. Press triangle to access the multitude to raise the content at any time. Okay, so what door is open now? Is it this one? Or is that where? No, we came from over there. Yes, we came from. No, we came from here. So we've got to go. Stairwell elevator. This is where we got to go. Okay, sweet. Oh. Huh. Well, that's new. Mm. All right. Still no sign of anyone. What could they be? Forever walk the surface of Mars, feeding on brains. Uh, are we back on this? I'm just saying his sacrifice was heroic. Locked out. Got to see sure he's dead. Yeah, but he did die. How romantic. Are they still talking about the zombie show? I find it kind of funny since Troy Baker's in this game and he. His game was about zombies and whatnot. And then of course that game had a show, The Last of Us show. Lockdown in effect. Level three. Access required. Okay. Uh, crew quarters is the only one to be open right now. Let's we're gonna start here and then we'll keep going down if we need to. Oh, this is that one area we saw in the cameras. Okay. What do we have here? Let me take a look at the map. Let's zoom in. It seems like the left is the only one opened. Okay. There's also a gym there. Interesting enough. Benny thinks someone is on to us. Yeah, he dropped me a message saying he told them it was you. What? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, if only they knew. I can barely use it with credits. 
It's the perfect crime. Indeed. What in the world? Can you climb on the Stairmaster? In my youth... <sighs> Were we even up here back then? <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's freaking awesome, bro. By the way, I've got one of these. Um, it's, it's debatable that this is perhaps the most crucial cardio machine. 20 minutes on that shit and you're, you're feeling it. Quite literally everywhere. It's incredible. All right, anyways. Ooh, we've got a punching bag. Get out of here, dude. <laughs> oh my God. A little slow on the punch there, uh, Jack. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like he's kind of drunk. I feel like the beer's kind of getting to him. That door is locked. I'm not even going to try. Can we hit the, uh, let me see something. Ah, that would have been cool. All right, so let's get out of here. We're going to go to the other door here. Seems to be the only one available at the moment. This is the rec room. Let's get it. Oh, this is nice. Shit. Remember that time you hit a seven ball on Chris? <laughs> he lost his mind. I think it was long gone before that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too many solo jobs out here. You found a table. I sure did. Still got it. It must go for a walk when we play. Yeah, oh, in my Boston heyday, I could have given you a game. <laughs> sure. Oh, I'd never get out of that with my back. Dead man's hand. That's all I need. Hmm. All right, what do we have here? Another poster. Streaming now, Dead Solar. At least Solar had a more engaging premise. Dead Solar? Yeah. It was just an idiot clearly searching a haunted station. <laughs> I just heard it. Huh. Oh, for the record, I'm not searching. I'm investigating. <laughs> Alright, let's go into the canteen. I think this is the only time I've ever seen a rec room empty. You find the number that quiet you always wanted. Not quite how I imagined it. Still no sign of anyone. Not a soul. There should at least be an officer around. Yeah, I'll keep looking. Okay, I'll try and access the records from here. See who the officer on duty is. Okay. Level five, access. All right, let me take a look at the map because I don't want to get lost. So canteen is to the left, it's locked. Security room and an office. Okay, I think there's an office coming up here. I don't even know where I'm at at the moment, to be honest. Can okay, this is the canteen. That's gonna be locked. Door locked. Hello? Made contact? Uh, maybe with the shadow of a fridge. I think you may have been up here too long. I think that's exactly why we're going on our yearly leave pretty soon. Hold on. That's locked, right? Okay. Yo, am I going in circles or what's going on here? Oh wait, this is open supply room. Perfect. This is perfect. Hey, guess what I found? Am I actually supposed to get? Uh, well, you remember when we first came up here? Before they started arguing over the territory? Yeah. They still have one of those old Earth Force flags. Earth what? Well, not that. I think it was called Earth Expedition Force. <laughs> it wasn't 
that either, but yeah, I know what you mean. Well, they still have theirs. And where did you find that? In a supply room. Why are you in a supply room? I miss peanut butter. I took a chance. Priorities. <laughs> oh, shit. United Earth. One planet, one goal. Alright, I think that's it. Nothing else here, nothing too interesting. Kind of a letdown considering that's a supply room. A nice gun would have been nice. What are you doing? I'm resetting the lock. I'll pretend huh? I didn't hear that. What if someone's hurt? It's just a oh. fight. That's not how it works at all, but why why okay. can't the most logical place for them to be is their quarters. Why, why can't we do that for all the other rooms? Shit. Alright, so this is the crew's quarters. Hold on. Back up in the map here. Crew rooms. Alright, this looks interesting. Let's go. There's gotta be something here, man. Looks cozy. Life of luxury for some, I guess. How do you know? You can't even see it. It's hard to be worse than the engineering shack at Miner. <laughs> yeah, that's a fair point. Look at that, Wyatt Taylor, Chief Medical Officer. Level five. That's access. that's Troy Level Baker's one. uh character. Nick Tout. Level three. Access. Drill Ops Required. Manager. Adam Hoskins, it's site manager. And this is who? Whoa, whoa. Ooh. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. H. Dunpart. Taylor is becoming increasingly hostile to the work we're trying to do here. He doesn't understand the people we can save. Oh, we're so close now. I can feel it. The storms are coming, but once the season passes, we should be able to ship Compound 26 to other sites. It's, it's, it's funny, really. Today I was asked if the cost of our work, if the, the toll that it's taken, was worth it. Okay, interesting. Hmm. Huh. Finally. Different character. What is happening in this place? Never seen anything like that. Sample C2B. Ellen Dunpart. So this is her room. Okay. I don't know if I could ever get used to that. Used to what? You know, the, um, the, the weather windows. <laughs> you mean the climate simulators? Yeah, well, I prefer my name better. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? So what does that do? Is that like, uh, you put the weather and then it kind of makes the in-room temperature, whatever you put it as, and then you get like a nice little background? And, uh, internal temperatures, 4 degrees Celsius, external, negative 72, a red storm warning. I don't know where the devs come up with these ideas. That's pretty cool. Alright, so, hi Helen, once again, we are having issues with escaped bees. Not for the first time this month, they have somehow infiltrated colleagues' suits. This please be looked at as it's making certain team members a rather uncomfortable, thanks. Lead lab technician. Helen, uh, the new approach to phase testing has really helped us isolate the growth aspect of the candidate. Pre uh, previous phase 
phases have been too aggressive. This allows us to focus on varying samples in isolation. I believe this will help lead us to stronger batches in the immediate future. Lab botanist. Okay. So this is from Taylor, which is Troy Baker's character, the lead medic. Uh, chief medic. So it says, Helen, just following up from uh, our meeting this evening, I continue to stress concerns about the health of Nick's team. I fear you are not taking this issue seriously. I am keen to discuss this matter further with you. Let me know when you have a moment. Thanks. From Tout. Hi, Helen. Just checking in before tonight's run. If you could ping me over what you need, that would be great. Thanks. Hello. It was great to see you earlier. Not many venture out into our shack. I have reset your password as requested. Sorry to hear about your log issues but uh, hopefully these are now resolved. Please remember to reset the password the first time you log in. Passcode 020689. I wonder if we're gonna have to use that. Ooh. All right, so here we've got two video logs. One is, we'll go with this one. Signing off the week, no more hopeful than we were at the start. The soil here, on the solus planum continues to show encouraging signs of adaptation but the plant life that interacts with it however seems to aggressively grow and expire almost like an accelerant our planet is dying just like these plants we're running out of time. Tomorrow is a new day. Did she say our planet is dying like Earth? And then they're here trying to find a way to... Or is she talking about Mars? Progress. If you can call it that has been rising since we introduced the new formula. The results we have now can buy us time to- Two, Helen. That's two now. There's nothing to suggest it has anything to do with compound 26. Liar. They have been transporting this stuff for months. Well, I don't know it to tell you, Wyatt. It has nothing to do with what I'm trying to do here. Helen, I have a duty here. And the work you're doing, it needs looking into. Well, unless you have clearance, I don't see that happening. People are getting sick, Helen. They're getting sick. How can you not see that? Because it's not true. This is confirmation bias, Helen. You know it. Is this still on? Hmm. What's making them sick? The greenhouse. Drill bay hangar. I saw that place outside. What on earth is going on here? I could barely hear that. I said, what on earth is going on here? Honestly, I meant the monitor. Ah. Your helmet has a much better mic. Yeah, nice try. Yeah, seriously, what the hell is going on here? All right, so this is open. This is a level four. Why would that be open? Level four, access. Oh, it's not open. Shit. Never mind. Alright, so this is the private... Oh, private bathroom. Honestly? No way. I couldn't help myself. I'm already down here with nothing but a helmet light. I don't need a soundtrack. How's that helmet working out for you? Just splendid. Good to hear. All right, so that's... I still don't know how you even watch those old movies. It's not easy, but it's worth it. Well, that's an Easter egg. Uh-huh. Crew quarters. Claire Smith, unoccupied. Oh, shoot. hell was the point of that whoa this takes me back all 
We got some books here. That's a shame. Place like this must have a secret room somewhere. <laughs> he was trying to pull the book so then a door would open. Oh, what do we got here? That's a start. Level one. This should make getting around easier. They will mind if I borrow it. Key cards grant access to previous locked new areas. Previously locked and at new areas. Okay, so we've got a key card now. Now I just gotta find we came from back there. Gotta keep going this way, right? Yes. Interesting. Alright, so level one right here. Sweet. Well, well, well. Test specimen, do not open. Crazy what these samples go for back home. Is that the soil? Yes, I found a fellow believer of yours. Oh, really? What did you ask them? What triggered the lockdown? What? Exactly. Well, uh Let's hope for my sake that that isn't what actually happened. All right, so we've got another battery here. Not sure what for, but sure we'll find out. Uh, you remember that time we went to see No Escape? Remember it? I'll never get those hours back. Ah, oh, what a show. What do we have Quiet here? Quiet taste, I guess. Seaweed. All right, so I'm kind of intrigued because now we've got, oh, there's a book here. Creepy. I'm guessing a flickering light shadow demon. Close. I think I'm looking at a face in the wind. Okay, now I need to know. This, some drawing I found. Ah, yes. The scavenger hunt continues. All right, let's go into the crew bathroom. Weren't we just here? We were just here, right? No, oh, this is different. Yeah, this is... What the fuck? That's one hell of a nosebleed. Uh, yeah, that's not a nosebleed, dude. Somebody's dying. Or somebody died. See, there's another ad running here on the big screen. Relax, unwind, and escape. Buy a spa and resort. Alright, let's get the heck out. So we went in there. We've got a new battery. I'm going to keep going here. I don't know exactly where we're going to now. Okay, we're already there. That's Claire Smith. These are all locked, correct? Door locked. Door locked. Hello? There is no one here. Um, try the medical bay. There's always someone on duty. But what if an injury caused the lockdown? Records say it's Wyatt Taylor. Hmm. Roger. <sighs> All right, here we go. Gain access to the medical bay. So we came from here. Oh, shit. That just opened. Uh, okay. So that was the other door. Interesting. Right, so I would assume we go back this way and keep going downstairs. Level two access required. Level two required. So it seems like in the uh, on the other chapters, um, 
you're probably just gonna explore this whole entire facility. Eventually, maybe going outside of the atrium, but, um... There's just so many other doors and whatnot that you cannot access yet in this chapter. Level 5, access required. Level 3, medical bay. There's even lower. Ooh. Interesting. There we go. Who's that? What is? The door, it's been sabotaged. Sabotaged? Something snapped the manual lever off. <gasps> Something? Stop it, you know what I mean. Alright, good. We've got Why the battery, someone right? someone remove the power supply? From the door? Mm. Or power supply, excuse me. I have another I-5 I can show. These I-5, why didn't we stop using them? The I-5? They just became too unstable. Any surge would be dangerous. Why? No reason. Do not try to surge that door open. I wouldn't dream of it. Okay, hold on. There's something on the ground. I'm, I'm gonna go room by room here. Search the medical bay. What do we got here? Read. Workplace medical examination report. Name Dawson Roberts. Date of birth. 06237. Date of visit. 2080. Notes are dizziness, loss of balance, low blood pressure, needs to stay within radiation safety limits, potential radiation poisoning. Treatment was daily administration of potassium iodide. Check up in two weeks. Signed, Wyatt Taylor. Name, Salem Ader. 42, visit on the 80th. Irritable right eye and dizziness. Symptoms potentially caused by radiation exposure. Ruling out a vestibular disorder with a CT scan. A treatment, daily administration of potassium iodide. Hmm. Radiation exposure. <laughs> oh, I chose the wrong profession. Terra Care. Uh, please take additional care to support your team through this turbulent weather period. If any medical staff requires support, do not hesitate to call on fantastic resources. Terra Wellbeing. We look forward to welcoming all residents of Starwalk this evening. Starwalk helps remind us of the spectacle that our residency provides. We hope that you can join us. The walk will begin in 1900 hours. Xavier Ortega. My Taylor, residents, many of you are aware of the exposure cases I treated last week. I request you please respect the limited surface access safeguards that are in place. I would appreciate you all leading by example and not participating in tonight's Star Walk. If you are experiencing any signs of symptoms uh, or any of the symptoms outlined in my email, please see me directly if you are. Okay. Troy uh, Baker here. Some good news. I think my work here is beginning to pay off. Tout's team uh, is finally beginning to listen to my warnings about exposure. They recorded higher rad levels at the site this week, and I've had to treat two of his staff for uh, radiation uh, sickness. Dawson is showing signs of hypotension, and Celine complained of dizziness. Uh, Current treatment is daily administration of potassium iodide. I'm pretty sure we caught it quick, but out of an abundance of caution, I'll go ahead and schedule a CT scan for Celine um, just to rule out vestibular disorder. Um, I just have no idea why these guys insist on working such long hours at the site. They know that it's against regulations. I just don't think that they're fully aware of the risks. But who knows? Maybe. The taste of seaweed in their mouth will remind them to put their health first. Well, it's fascinating to me how these guys can, like, get a script and, and read it, remember it, and then act it out and make it sound like they're actually talking normal without sounding like they're reading off a script. That's fucking crazy. That's why we do what we do and they do what they do. That's hard, man. So he was basically talking about the notes we just found there. Those two patients um, who were complaining of certain symptoms and are probably uh, probably exposed to uh, radiation poisoning. And that's blood. I think there may have been an incident here. An incident? Well, what, what makes you think that? Just a feeling I have. A feeling? Well, it, 
Is Officer Taylor there? I'll check. What the fuck? Yeah, that ain't ketchup. Radial therapy. Can we open this? No. Alright, so... We came from there. Hold on, let me take a look at the map, please. The furnace. Wait. Is it here? What is this? Isolation room. Ooh. Seem I'm putting this on the network as a reminder to both you and myself to please fix my video calling. Um, it's great that I can talk to you, but I would like to talk to my family. So, let me know the status. Thank you. Remember when Tom got drunk and ate a soil sample? <laughs> completely forgotten about that. Yeah. Has the game of truth or dare ever ended well? He was in ISO for days. I can't imagine how he lasted two weeks in that room. Me neither. Alright, let's keep it moving. So whose room was that? Uh, isolation room. Nobody's in particular. This is the supply room. Another supply room, correct? Yes, and... We've got another stick here. Perfect. This is good. I'm not a kid. Um, I don't need to be told that sometimes things just go bump in the night. And yes, I know that there are storms happening outside, but the storms, they, they don't. that There's a whole lot of mystery going on here man oh what the fuck what happened here uh all right sounds good shit oh okay hold on i found <laughs> officer taylor's sia he's not in it if he was in it then i would have found officer taylor why would he take it off I think maybe he was injured. The blood on this suit matches the waiting room. Okay, do one final sweep and we just call the search over. This, it doesn't feel right. Agreed. What the hell? Okay. Look at this. This is his office. Oh, hell yeah, this is good. There's blood on his table. What is happening? Rachel. Music is intensifying. All right. We got his computer. Let's dig it up. See what happens here. Um, hi, Wyatt. Uh, rest assured that uh, the backup power maintains full support for all medical facilities on site. Our persistent power issues that should not affect your department. Thanks. Um, hi Wyatt, thanks for contacting Adam about access to the engineering sector. As per Officer Richardson's multi-tool access plan mandate, my team is not able to accommodate your request at this time. Happy to talk about it any further in the canteen. Hi Wyatt, my colleagues has left your sample plant as requested on the A level of the greenhouse. Please let me know if it's satisfactory, thanks. Wyatt, uh, you know I'm not able to comment on the operations of other departments. I understand your concerns, but I can assure you nothing uh, 
untoward is occurring on this site. Have you tried speaking to Helen about it? I really think uh, that would help. Has the scene fixed your video calling? Generally don't know. I genuinely didn't know you could change the difficulty. Thanks for showing me. Several different topics here. Here we've got two videos. Surveillance. Med Bay. Okay, hold on. Here we go. I finally got to speak to Chris and the girls. It's good. Their smiles. I wish I could just bottle that up. I'm really looking forward to getting home back after this stint. I know that these medical logs are designed to aid our mental health and should anyone actually monitor these things, I want you to know that as a medical officer, I concur in theory, but in practice, I just, I need to spend time with my family. That's what I really need. And not just watch them, I need to see them. Because that's what I'm doing right now. I'm watching them through a screen. Bro, it's good acting, bro. Wow. <laughs> I think these next five months are going to be a lot longer than I anticipated. Uh... Oh, and remind me to speak to Helen about getting Rachel a space plant. Because that's what she wants. So that, that uh, explains the plan on his desk, said Rachel. The situation regarding site exposure is a growing concern. I've spoken with Tau numerous times, increasing safety regulations. Today, today wasn't good. One of Nick's staff was admitted after suffering from extreme dehydration and fatigue. We had to sedate him. His hands wouldn't stop shaking. And after the patient vomited blood, he was sent to Center Point for further treatment. They'll administer standard care for hematemesis. I strongly recommend it based upon the current situation here of DTPA, but unfortunately at that point it's... Either way, the incident has been reported. Something's going on here. And I need to find out what it is. Interesting. Only one way to find out. Have you found Officer Taylor? Maybe. I'm going to take a look. Alright, so the surgery room was in the beginning where I saw it. This is cold storage furnace. What the fuck? Now I wish I had my helmet on. You should always have your helmet on. <laughs> well, that makes two of us. What are they burning? I wonder where that goes. Maintenance access. Alright, nothing else here? Off we go. Alright, so go off to the uh, uh, surgery room, which again was exactly where we came from. Gonna be too hard. Surgery room, let me see. Right here. We are officially here. Surgery room, this way. Yikes, look at the blood. Listen to the music. What is going on? Yo, chill out. Access granted. Hey, slow it down. Jack? 
It's the guard, he's dead. What? A an accident? I'll take a look. Whoa. Bro, look at the hands. Look at the hands, how realistic they look. My goodness. No, I don't think this was an accident. Are you sure? Yeah, I think so. Tag reads Richardson, security uniform. Okay, now we know why security didn't greet you. to a door. Wow. What do you got clapped? Level two clearance. Perfect. Officer Taylor isn't here. But what the hell is going on there? No idea. It's time we update Central. I'm on it. Bro, that looks crazy, huh? That looks so crazy. The graphics in this game are fucking awesome. What the hell happened down here? What? I don't know. I feel like there are signs of foul play. I could be wrong. Seems like signs of foul play, though. Get out of here. What do we got? Okay, I've lost the update. Uh, it's time to head to the LCD. Uh, what the fuck? Is there somebody over there? Straight ahead? Agreed. I'm on my way. He finally runs. <laughs> we know he can run, all right? What the hell is going on here? Oh, shit. Small spaces is all I need. So, was that person looking at us, waiting for us to open through the door and then just kind of lo lock us in there? Or? Bro. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, I was not expecting that. All right, you got me. You got me. Fine. I don't know, man. This game is really interesting right now. I know again, it's it's got that slower pace. But it, it, I mean, if you love narrative games, if you love thrillers, this is definitely, it, it gives me some like, um, in a way, alien isolation vibes mixed with like uh, dead space. It's not as intense as far as like scares go, because it's not technically trying to be a horror game, um, but the atmosphere, the vibe, for sure, for sure. Let's 
go, man. Let's get the heck out of here. Finally. I'm not sure there was a contamination. What do you mean? I'm not sure. What? Someone was down there with me. I'm heading back up to the surface level now. Down there with you? Who? I don't know. What the heck happened? Could that be, uh, Taylor? Could that be the doctor? Audio's crazy here. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to edit this out. Oh, damn, my ears. Come on, dude. Chill out, please. Fix the audio. Come on. All right, good. We're back. Sorry about that. Who the fuck is doing that? Who is that? Hello? What's happening? What the f Officer Dunpart, who's that? Helen Dunpart, a senior botanist. Wow. No way. That's the chick. Uh, Jess, contact Central. Tell them there, there's an incident here. An incident? What kind of incident? Something is going on. She... She's multiple stab wounds. What? Look, contact Central. Tell them it's a violent act incident. Have them send aid. Her helmet was damaged. She couldn't breathe, but she made the journey anyway. Hmm. Jess, how many people are in Solace? The system lists six. Mining crews stop during storm season. Those there are for research and cycle maintenance. She never had a chance. What was she? What was she running from? Yo. Jess, I can't just leave. Uh, I need to remove the lockdown and access the security cameras. I can check through the buildings that way. That sounds like a safer compromise. What a night. You need to let Central respond. One sweep and then you're out of there. I'll use the cameras to locate them, then I'm gone. Okay. Where's the generator located? East of the atrium. A straight shot from there to the maintenance unit. The airlock breaches sealed the outer door until I left the lockdown. Is there another way to the maintenance unit? Okay, according to the layout, you can take the drill bay hangar door, and that should bring you out in front of the maintenance unit. Drill bay hangar, got it. You can access it from the service tunnel from the stairwell. Roger. Locate the drill bay hangar. All right, so that's the end of chapter one. Um, I cannot show you anything more after this. I did want to go here, and this is the girl that, that's her, this one right here. The game is kind of leading like, man, could it, could it have been Taylor? I don't think so. His body was full of blood. Not his body, his suit. Oh, yo, this is getting crazy. Um. So yeah, we're going to leave it here. Let me know what you guys thought. This this game is uh, definitely, it's piqued my interest. And I'm super excited uh, for the future of the next couple of chapters that we've got going on. Phenomenal job by everyone included. The voice acting was sensational. Um, the game looks beautiful. And so far, I just want to keep playing to see what happens next. But until I'm able to show you guys, we'll just have to wait. 
Maybe it won't be too long. I'm recording this super, super early, like three weeks almost early, so I'm not sure when that'll be. But by the time you guys watch it, um, it should be probably really soon. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll catch you later.